Hi everybody, this is Mickey Adams in Dallas, Texas. Here's a nice little exercise from going through the Big D Don't Mean Dallas. And uh, it's got a couple advanced techniques for you beginners. This will help you with your pick blocking when you master this, as well as your pick placement. So let's get straight into this. This is a, a quite a simple lesson, guys. We're going to be in B flat. So I'm going to play the first fret with the A and B pedals down. And the phrase sounds like this. Okay, let's use all three fingers this time. Let's go middle finger, index finger, thumb. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move our bass position with our thumb from string 8 up to string 6. And we're going to alternate with our index finger. We're going to cross over again to string number 5 with our thumb, raise our A pedal, drop the A pedal, and strike string 4. Cross, cross, now we're going to come back, we're going to back, back to our primary position where our thumb is at 8 and we're going to be playing with our middle finger again. And we're going to reach with our middle finger up to string 4. We're going to strike string 6 dampened as a staccato note, it basically per percussive reasons. We're going to raise the A pedal, we're going to play string 5. And we're going to slowly release the B pedal after striking 6 and strike 7. And it sounds like this. Now done rapidly, we actually don't hear this B flat note because I would be playing See, the purpose of this note real staccato down here is for percussive reasons again uh, because this this note is staccato this note is staccato this note is staccato now that's a really cool move uh, guys now this is in B flat so this should give you some food for thought as you're working your way around your puzzle in your single strings as to where I am I'm two frets back from B, B flat and I'm playing the 5, 6, and 8 strings. 5, 6, and 7, rather. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you right back here at the Pedal Steel.